for another episode of Did I Splurge or Did I Save? If you are new to my channel, this is a fun game that we like to play. I create three DIYs, and if I spent over $20 creating the DIY, then I splurge. If I spent under $20, then I saved. Pretty easy, right? Well, let's put your knowledge to the test and see how many you can guess right. We're going to start off by creating a gorgeous fall flower arrangement in a large ceramic pumpkin bowl. So what do you think? Did I splurge or did I save? I splurged. Now, I will show you exactly how much I spent after we're done creating this. I have seen some beautiful floral arrangements in pumpkins this season and I wanted to create one for myself. The problem was I didn't want to use a fresh pumpkin because I wanted the arrangement to last all season long. So my solution was to find a pumpkin soup terrine to replace a fresh pumpkin. This was such a great find. I found it at Ross. And I don't need the soup ladle right now, so I'll just put that off to the side. Inside of my pumpkin terrine, I'm going to start off by putting some floral foam. Now, typically I do the tape grid method, but because we're going to be adding the lid later on, I need some foam in there so I can securely place the lid back inside. The florals that I'm using are from a variety of different places. I got some at the Dollar Tree, I got some at Michael's, and also at Hobby Lobby. One of the things that I'm going to be using are these little seed pod things. I remember them from the 80s. My mom had some flower arrangements and I would always pull them out and like use them as maracas and shake them around. <laughs> so they are fun to play with, but they're not the prettiest botanical. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray paint these little seed pods gold. I got some gold Rust-Oleum spray paint. I took a plastic cup and I poked the stems into the cup so they would stay upright. I sprayed these seed pods thoroughly and then I let them dry for 20 minutes. Now it's time to add my gorgeous flowers to my soup terrine. So I just simply took my flowers and I added them sporadically into the foam. I made sure that I spaced out the colors so they weren't touching each other. You don't want a big burgundy flower next to another big burgundy flower. So I spaced them out according to color and size. Once all of my flowers were in place, I took those gold seed pods and I placed them evenly in the front. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this pumpkin lid on the top because I just love the way it looks. It's another fun element, so I really wanted to add it to this arrangement. I took some floral foam and I pressed it into the lid so that it was really tight inside. Next, I have three wooden skewers. I took some wire cutters and I trimmed the wooden skewers down to size and I placed them into the foam. Then I turned that pumpkin lid around and I placed it inside my arrangement. I pressed it into the floral foam. The skewers that are poking into the lid are going to hold that lid securely in place. Once the lid was in place, all I had to do was add a few more fall leaves to finish off the look. Isn't this floral arrangement absolutely stunning? I am so excited to have this out all fall season long. And once Thanksgiving rolls around, all I have to do is wash it out and get that soup ladle back out and I can put some food inside. So it's a piece that's gonna be doing double duty for me. So let's break down the cost on this. We'll talk about exactly how much I spent. So the biggest cost was the soup terrine. I purchased it at Ross and it was $21.99. So that in and of itself was a bit of a splurge. And do you want to know a little secret? 
I actually bought two because what if I want chicken noodle soup and clam chowder? You've got to have two, right? So the next cost was the florals. And I'm going to say that I spent $10 on the flowers. And finally, we're just going to clump miscellaneous items together, the floral foam and the wooden skewers, as well as the spray paint. And we'll say that we spent a dollar on those. So in total, I spent $33 on this arrangement. I think that that's an okay price and it's definitely a splurge, but I would spend that money again to get this floral arrangement. What do you think? Do you think it was worth $33? Today I am co-hosting a really fun collaboration with my friend Antoinette from Antoinette Decorating. She is just the sweetest and she creates some pretty home decor pieces. The theme is falling into leaves. So everyone participating in this collaboration will have this theme in mind as they create some DIYs. I will leave a link to Antoinette's channel in my description box as well as the playlist so you can see all of the DIYs that everyone creates. Okay, are you ready for project number two? It's gonna be this framed fall art. This is in a gorgeous mirrored and gold detailed frame. Inside, I have some wooden leaves placed on top of some fall cardstock. So what do you think? Do you think I splurged or did I save? I saved. And again, I'll show you the cost breakdown after we're done creating this DIY. First up, we're gonna take some wooden leaves and we're going to make them shine. I got a package of wooden leaves at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to add some veining to my leaves to give them some extra detail. The first thing that I did was I simply just got a pencil and I traced some veining on the wooden leaf. I did two separate designs that were similar, but not identical. Once the tracing was finished, I got out my wood burning tool. Now you can purchase wood burning tools at Michael's or at Walmart for $10 or under. They're really affordable. So all I did was I took my wood burning tool and I traced along the pencil markings on my leaf. You don't need to press hard. You just need to have an even motion and continue moving. If you do pause, it will obviously burn that area a little more than you would if you were continually moving. So just keep that wood burning tool flowing as you trace over those lines. It only took me a few minutes to burn these lines into both of these leaves. Now we're going to add a little bit of shimmery shine to these leaves. I'm going to be using this Perla paint that I purchased at Michael's. It has a beautiful sheen to it. I got my sponge brush and I painted a light coat over each one of my leaves and then I let them dry for two hours. Now we're gonna add a little bit of shimmer in the form of some bling wrap. Now, originally the reason why we're gonna do this is because there's a hole in the top of these leaves where you can hang it up as an ornament, but I didn't want to leave the hole there. So what I did was I got a little teeny piece of that bling wrap and I placed it over the top of the hole. Then I added a few more sparkles sporadically throughout the leaves. I love the way that the gold sparkles add additional detail and interest to these leaves. So let's talk about this pretty frame. I loved the mirror edge and the gold detail on the inside. It caught my attention and I just had to have it. I removed the paper and the foam from the inside of the frame. As the backdrop, I'm going to be using some pretty cardstock. I had a whole book of cardstock. I selected the one that I wanted and tore it out. I got my Cricut self healing mat and my rotary cutter. I placed my cardstock down first, then used the paper that I pulled out from the frame as a template. 
I placed it over the top of my cardstock. I traced around it. Then I cut it to size with my Cricut rotary cutter. Now I'm going to place my leaves on top of this cardstock. I got some double-sided tape and I placed some pieces on the back of each one of my wooden leaves. And then I placed them on the left-hand side of the cardstock. That way it didn't block the beautiful fall botanicals on the right-hand side. Once the leaves were in place, I put my cardstock back into the frame and now I have a beautiful piece of fall art that I can display during this autumn season. So let's go over the cost breakdown of what I spent to create this art. Again, the big cost was the frame. I purchased this frame at Ross for $8.99. Again, totally worth it. I will be able to use this frame again and again, so I think it was worth the cost. And the second part is the fall leaves. They were from the Dollar Tree. I only used two, so that's gonna be 33 cents. And then I'll group together the miscellaneous, which is the paint, the cardstock, and the bling wrap. We'll say that those parcels cost $1. So in total, this fall art cost me $10.50. Again, I believe it was totally worth it. And we definitely saved by DIYing this piece ourselves. Now it's time for our final project. You get one more chance to test your knowledge. Are you ready? I have these gorgeous acorns, a set of two. Look at how large they are with a beautiful gold top. So what do you think? Did I splurge or did I save? I splurged. And again, I will show you exactly how much I spent on these when we're done. And I will say this was by far the easiest project that we are gonna do of the day. So let's talk a little bit about these acorns. I purchased this set at Bell's. They are pretty plain, a boring brown, but we're going to paint a gold highlight to the top to really make them come alive. So I'm going to be using two types of craft paint. I'm going to mix them together. One is a little more flat and one has a sheen to it. I purchased both of these craft paints at Walmart. I took a sponge brush and I painted on the gold paint. I put the paint on the raised details on the top of the acorn. I painted on a fairly thick coat in the beginning because I wanted to make sure I got each part of the raised detail. Once I had on a fairly thick coat, I got a napkin and I gently wiped off the excess paint. This technique ensures that it's not too saturated in the gold paint. I continued doing this until each part of the acorn top was covered in the gold craft paint. Then I did the same technique on the stem by painting on the gold paint and then gently wiping it off with the napkin. Once I was finished with my first acorn, I moved on to my second and repeated the painting process. Once I was satisfied with the way that the gold paint looked on the top of the acorns, I let the paint dry for two hours. How easy was that? But look at the difference that it made. It took this from a plain brown acorn and now it pops. The paint highlighted the intricate shapes on these acorns, plus by adding a second color to this monochromatic acorn, it makes it so much more dynamic. All right, so now let's talk about the costs of what I spent on these acorns. I told you I purchased them at Bell's and each acorn was $12.99. So if you did wanna save, you could just buy one of these, but I like to buy sets, that way I can have more than one to decorate with. So that was obviously the big cost of this DIY. The paint, we're gonna say that it cost 50 cents because I really didn't use very much 
And those were the only costs that went into creating these. So total price to create both of these was $26.50, which I think is a great price because look at how beautiful these are. So how did you do today? Did you get a couple of these splurge or saves right? Hopefully I tested your knowledge just a little bit and made it a little tricky for you. What this game does is it just shows you that you don't have to spend a lot of money to create some beautiful pieces. But sometimes it's okay to splurge just a bit in order to get something that is gorgeous, something that will last for a long period of time, something that you can use throughout the entire season, put it away and then pull it back out next fall and use it again. I hope you got some inspiration and enjoyed creating these DIYs with me today. I love sharing my projects with you. I also love reading your kind comments. I feel like I have so many friends out there that watch my channel. So thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you stopping by. Have a wonderful week.